Good morning, folks. Lots of fireballs seen in the sky this past week, following the peak of the Orion meteor shower. Most of the footage is from Russia and the United States. We've got some important topics today, so let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. Finding a bit of a jittery star the last 18 hours or so, big dark coronal hole departing to the right, we've got limb pops, and the central disk surging and movement. It wasn't from any kind of eruptive activity or solar flaring. Sunspots on the disk, including the central portion, lack magnetic complexity. It was just reorganizing a bit with those umbral surges. Solar wind is a far more interesting story, however, a slight speed in plasma temperature rise this morning was but a blip on the radar. Our shield is pumped up from the storm in super fast streams and is taking this morning's events very well, calming nicely. As that larger coronal hole departs to the right, just like last time, there isn't much waiting for the next one. You can see it visible bottom left, coming into view now. In terms of quakes, there were no official six-pointers yesterday except for this one in PNG sitting at 5.7, actually hit magnitude 6 or higher on three readings, and indeed 5.7 is the absolute smallest of all the readings that came in. Upgrade is warranted. Top story today comes back to ExoMars. High rise took better images and we can see bright specks and an odd curve around the main crash site. The curved line has no explanation from experts. They also noted another new feature over to the right. Interesting smaller version of the main impactor, and to the south we have a new better look at what appears to be both the heat shield and the parachute. Interesting bit from the Weather Channel here, looking for a hot central north U.S. in November. Appreciate it, but all bets are off, as NOAA has come back and just about flipped the script for the opposite forecast of heat intrusion something to watch over the next few weeks, along with Noah's precipitation predictions. Folks, there's a new Deeper Look episode out. It is number four in the Global Electric Circuit Quake Energy series. This follows the numerous experiments you've seen already showing where the current will flow, which rocks block versus allow the current to pass, and how that ties back to earthquake predictions. In addition to the episode of Deeper Look, which is number 83 on the year, you should check out the conference page over at Suspicious Observers or at the Observatory Project page. There's only three days left in the month, three days left to book your tickets in my favorite month of the year, and as a thank you, you'll receive 60 days free to browse the members' content at suspiciousobservers.org and a chance to win the very first book copy off the line of our new title coming soon, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.